gay activist and the evangelical pastor may both deplore the ravages of HIV AIDS, but find themselves unable to bridge the cultural divide that might unite their efforts. Uh, obviously, just because something is smart and fair and good for the economy and fiscally responsible and supported by business and labor and <laughs> the evangelical community and many Democrats and many Republicans, I think the evangelical Christian community has shown itself to be four square behind immigration reform, and that's a powerful voice. When unions and CEOs, when law enforcement and the evangelical community, when folks who usually don't agree on anything agree that we should be fixing our broken immigration system, but the Republicans in the House of Representatives have been sitting on a bill for more than a year, it ain't right. And the good news is there has actually been some interest on the part of unlikely allies like the evangelical community or some otherwise very conservative Republicans because it's very expensive to incarcerate people and a recognition that this may not be the best approach.